tutorial for Nokia HQ and today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to build a Chrome extension that captures uh, or makes a screenshot of the current uh, tab the user is on in their Chrome browser and then saves it in the bubble database. So what will you need for this? So first of all we're going to build this Chrome extension without code using our bubble application and our Chrome extension uh, chrome.nokiahq.com um, you can purchase your build here and you will also need our bubble plugin for $10 a month. So after you got your build um, and installed the build in your Chrome extensions, um, we have other videos showcasing how to do this. In my case, this is called demo extension here. I can also pin that to the top. And you will also need our Chrome extension plugin, which is available in the bubble plugin store. And once you installed that, just search for the element Chrome extension dragged onto the page. We did it already here to just be placed somewhere on the app. It's not visible. Also, um, you will build your Chrome extension on the single um, page here in Bubble. But again, more about the general building Chrome extensions in other videos that we have. Let's jump right into our screenshot builder. So how we're going to do this? Well, um, we will first of all build the functionality here in Bubble and we will use an API to uh, basically make a call um, to um, this API service here to make um, basically take a screenshot of a specific URL and we will then include the URL um, within the um, within the a within the API call we make from the Chrome extension. Let, let me just jump right into it. So first of all, I'm going to start off by going to plugins. Going to add a plugin um, API connector. Let's install that. Okay. Let's add another API. We call that screenshot. Okay. Um, and now we're going to implement this API here. Um, if you're not familiar with APIs, we have some other tutorials for this as well. I'm just going to copy this whole thing here to the clipboard um, and I'm going to have this new call here called um, just make screenshot. Okay. All right. Uh, let's paste that here. Okay. HTTPS API flash URL to image access key. Obviously, you will have to get your own access key. And there are lots of other services that allow you to make um, screenshots via an API. So I just chose this one here right now. But again, you can use anything you like. All right. Um, let me take a look. Okay. And we need the URL. We want to obviously switch the URL to a dynamic parameter using square brackets. Uh, and we'll call this URL. And this will be something we can enter here. Okay. Um, the data type will be image because this is what will be returned. We're going to use it as an action. And as a demo um, page, let's use our page here. NoQHQ.com. All right. Let's uncheck that. Let's try if it works. Initialize call. I'm going to wait a few seconds. And Bubble should give us the return value in a sec. Oh, wait. you can see it works perfectly fine. We have the image returned here. Um, I can't open here right now, but um, it will definitely work. Um, we got the image, the screenshot of our page NoQHQ. So that was really simple. You saw it already. Um, super easy. So now on, now on to the next step. Let's create a new data type. And let's call, for example, um, just screenshot. Okay. And the screenshot data type consists of a URL and then an image. Okay. All right. Uh, really great. We're not going to um, specify a user here. We're just going to assume there's just one user, but obviously you would uh, assign um, a screenshot made to a specific user and then have a login feature implemented. We're just going to skip this step now. So what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to have a big button here in the middle and this button should say make screen or take screenshot. All right. And then beneath this, I want to have a list of all the screenshots we took already. Okay. Let's have a repeating group. This will be of type screenshot. Data source will be do a search for all screenshots. Um, let's have this two rows and have vertical scrolling. All right. And then we're just going to have the um, an image inside here, which will be the image of the screenshot, dynamic image, current cell screenshot image. All right. Let's actually have next to this the URL maybe like this. I don't know, not the best user design, a uh, user um, interface, but just for demo purposes. Okay, so after screenshot, we have the image. All right, um, and then let's also add an alert. Position at the top. Uh, screenshot has been saved like this. Okay, and now we're almost done. To be honest, uh, I'm gonna add a workflow to this button. Start at a workflow when the button is pressed. We want to go to element actions, Chrome extension, get the current URL of the Chrome extension. We then want to 
um, make an API call via plugins, the one we created, which is screenshot make. We want to pass in an URL. The URL we want to pass in is not NoCoHQ. We want to pass in Chrome extension A's current URL. Next, we want to create a new thing. We want to create a new screenshot. And the fields of this will be image result of step two's image. And URL is going to be just, again, um, Chrome extension A's current URL. And at last, we want to show an alert that everything worked out, assuming it worked out. And that's basically it, to be honest. Let's just try that out, okay? So let me just go on to nokohq.com as an example again. I'm going to open the Chrome extension, okay? Um, in this case, it will take some time to load because we have a huge bubble app with lots of plugins installed. That's our demo app here. Um, so it takes a few seconds, but you can see already the uh, user interface. We have screenshot and take screenshot, okay? So let's click on take screenshot and see what happens. So we're clicking. There's some loading time. Um, so also you can see the screenshot has been saved. Um, we have the image here. We have the URL as well. Uh, again, UI isn't that too nice, but you see it works already fine. We have a repeating group. If we take a look into our database, let's uh, under all screenshots, you can see we have our URL. We have our image here. Let's take a look at the image. And it is a nice screenshot of the current um, actual tab we were in, including the cookie banner. So it works perfectly fine. We can try another um, page as well. So let's actually try so let's go to, um, I don't know, let's go to Wikipedia, okay. Um, let's make a screenshot of this page here, okay. Open the Chrome extension again, okay. All right, so again, we have your NoCoHQ, um, no problem at all. So let's take uh, click on Take Screenshot. And as you can see, also worked out, we have the German Wikipedia page here, the Hauptseite, which is Haupt main page. And we have the screenshot as well. Again, we can open the image in a new tab and we have our screen. And if we look in the database, we can see here's our image, our URL. We can take a look at the image and it worked really uh, perfectly. So um, yeah, that's basically it. Simple um, screenshot uh, Chrome extension using an external API. Again, there's lots of APIs you can use that offer this service. Um, and um, yeah, um, uh, easy but um, helpful Chrome extension. Thank you for watching. I'm going to see you guys for the next tutorial of NoCoHQ. Bye.